everybody. Nice seeing you. We finally got here. And uh, any questions or anything or anything? Anybody want to sign something or want to sign anything? Yeah. Or, or? All right. Uh, I don't. Okay. Pass the service. All right. That, that's why we're here. My grandfather was a chef at the Copacabana I got a in question. New York City, in the 21 Club. And uh, when I was a little boy, I used to watch him cook because he was very creative. So I, when I moved out of my parents' house at 18 years old, the cheapest thing to do was to make spaghetti, spaghetti sauce. So I kind of bought shit, so that's, excuse the line. But, but that's what I did. And, uh, this is the result. So I would just get my plum tomatoes, virgin olive oil, some salt, oregano, throw it in. And I remember what my grandfather used to do. And um, that, that, that's it. And it's called Martha Ramon's Brooklyn Zone. You can make it with sausage, you can make it with meatballs, you can throw anything you wanted. And, you, and I like a cold, like a cold pizza. And you know, the next day pizza tastes better when it's cold. So you eat it with a cold spaghetti, and uh, so far everyone's liked it, and 10% um, goes to autism. And um, I'm very happy yeah. to be involved with that. I mean, uh, you know, besides playing the drums and the Ramones songs and the DJ show I have and Silly Sex Sound, I think that uh, being creative, no matter what you do in life, is a big thing. This is long as you don't hurt anybody. And uh, I felt making this was a creative thing, like what my grandfather used to do. So uh, that's basically how it started, but I have to tell you one thing. The drums are not included in the sauce. So, but you can get drumsticks anyway. So uh, anybody want to ask me some questions uh, at all about anything? Or... Hey, hi. <laughs> Dini Ramon's watches. <laughs> I, all right, he brought it up by the way. Here's a story. Dini, Dini liked to buy things. We're in this uh, watch store. So he sees a Rolex there. He goes, I'm going to buy that. It could be you. Why do you need a Rolex watch? You're not, you know, you're not skin diving. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, the thing weighs a fuck toy. He's two fucking pounds. So, uh, you know, he's wanting to get him. So he's going to get him. So he's going to get him. So he's going to get him. He says to me, he says to me, I'm going to buy it. He buys it. Then the next day he sees a $59 Casio. He buys the Casio and he sells me the Rolex for one third the price. I mean, that's the little amount for it. That's why I love him. I miss him. And that's uh, the, uh, the watch that I would be. Anything, anybody else? Anybody want to ask any other questions about music or uh, the other Ramones or... Over here. Hi. Hey. How are you? I don't know, Kelly. Johnny and Joey disliked each other because they had different political views. And they... Uh, it involved a girl. You know how it is. See a beautiful girl, one, one guy wants the girlfriend, the other guy wants the girlfriend. Well, the girl ended up with Johnny, you know, it was Joey's original girlfriend. So that's what happened. They didn't speak for about 15 years, I think, in the middle. If Joey wanted, wanted John to know something, he would say, no, tell us to John. And he's sitting right here. Then John would tell me the answer, and I would have to go to Joey, who's sitting here, and tell him the answer. So that, that's how much it was like. That's how crazy it got. But it didn't affect our playing. We went on the stage, and that's what mattered. We left all that stuff off the stage. I can't see him. I don't think so. Hi. I knew that you guys would be, you know, you talked to your first year of eligibility, and you walked the whole thing, and I really felt good. 
Well, the thing about God blessing America, I understand. But what did George Bush have to do with Johnny Ramone's career? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you know, it, uh, you know, he's the president. You have to have respect for the president, but he could have named some other people. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so what, what's your point? Well, no, you know what it was? It was a, it was a question of time. Even Tommy's speech was cut a little. He, uh, Joey wasn't. Joey passed away at that point. But um, the induction speech is sometimes get like chopped up, you know? Like the thing at the Grammys that we, that we just won for the Lifetime Achievement Award, that was cut up a little because of, of a time factor. You know, you gotta, you know, the, the networks have to sell product commercials. That's what they do, you know? But uh, those influences are correct. Anybody else? Hi there. Did you know Johnny Thunders? I knew Johnny Thunders very well. Uh, we were close friends, we were born on the same day, I was three years younger than him. Uh, I loved him, we used to hang out together, and unfortunately he succumbed to something very bad, and he passed away. Uh, to me, he was the epitome of a punk guitar player. He was great. Yeah. He was great in the New York Dolls, and he was great in the half Yes. Hi. Hey, I know, I know you were a Kinks fan. I know you recorded better things. I want you right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to know on Ass Eaters. Did you yeah. guys ever consider recording a Kinks song? Uh, well, I wanted to do. I picked seven songs on that Ramones album, which only had I think ten songs on it. Right. All day and all the night was considered so was kicked by Chloe Me and the Ravens. But for some reason, I don't think Johnny could have did the chord work. Like Johnny was great, but not, and who would play the lead that Dave Davies played? He right. couldn't do the lead. So we picked songs that were a little more uh, stylistic towards what we could do properly. Uh, seven and Seven is by Love. Well, it's a straight across yeah. song. But I would have loved to have done all day and all the night. Because that, to me, that's one of the first punk songs I've I brought you a King's T-shirt. I'll give it to you earlier. Oh, uh, thanks. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. The man in the Ramones T-shirt. <laughs> uh, I know you've, been, you've uh, recorded a lot of albums with the Ramones. Road to Ruin, End of the Century, Pleasant Dreams, uh, Subterranean Jungle, Brain Drain, Mondo Bazaar, and the rest. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 